Hello everyone! So welcome, welcome to a new Battle Operations 2 update. So this is the September developers update and what do we have here today? Well, there are some changes being done to Ranked Match. Ranked Match has been having problems recently by not giving the players enough points and individual score for things like base bombing. They're going to be changing that hopefully in future. The next rank match will be held in November with some changes to it and some fixes. And we're going to have clan versus clan ranked match added very soon. For anybody that, that wanted to do that kind of thing, for anybody that likes ranked, wants to uh, obviously rank up and try and aim for the top, well then that's your thing, you know, that's what you're going to be focused on. And uh, clan versus clan should be interesting. Be interesting to see if they add a ladder to that as well because I can imagine some people getting really competitive with that and trying to make their clan the best if they do that. Next up we've got the operator update which allows operators uh, to be changed here. Operators can be earned. Basically they're the characters that talk, uh, talk during battle. At the moment there's only two other ones that they're planning on adding. Uh, Oldham Kuda the promotional guy, the one with the glasses for reaching Ensign rank. So if you reach Ensign, then you automatically get him as a reward and can change your voice in-game to him. Or get Needheart Heidegger, hope I've pronounced that properly, for getting in the top 10 of a ranked match and later a clan match. It's not available at the moment and that will be added this Thursday. So instead of having the... Uh, the woman or the little the girl that uh talks in the background when you're dropping into a match when mobile suits are destroyed whatever uh instead of that you'll be able to choose which character talks in the background but that's it's kind of neat but it's not like a major update then we've got changes to custom match the host will be able to decide when the team formation begins instead of it being automatic once players have joined so it just means that you can hold out if you want, by the looks of it, uh, whether you decide on uh, immediately going into things or forming the teams. It means that if you want, you can just wait, especially if you're doing something in the background. At least that's what I'm thinking it means. If you're doing something in the background and you can't form a team immedi immediately, well then it allows you to just delay that slightly while you fix things or whatever. The next update goes on about pilot accessories. Uh, marking and decals can now be added to your pilot suits, helmet and backpacks. So this is a really neat one for me anyway because I like trying to make everything custom. And uh, what this means is that you can make your pilot suits even more custom by adding all your decals that you would normally put on your suit all over your character as well. That's a really, really cool update. It's just a minor thing. But it's something like that that makes everything feel a little bit more personal. Not that you get to see your pilot much unless you're in like the lobby or whatever. A quality of life update is that you are no longer forced to stand still while you save. Or rather you're no longer required to stand still while saving. At least by the looks of it here from what I've read. That is a lot better. Because of... Uh, the fact that everyone was seemingly complaining that it was taking forever to line up and be able to save properly because you had to stop doing everything else. And then, apart from the captain rank being added after the lieutenant rank, which will be added on Thursday, this is all going down on Thursday, uh, there is, finally, a little bit more information on the Western release. Now... Interestingly enough, the servers are going to be shared, so there's no difference between the game at the moment and what will come out server-wise. It's all going to be peer-to-peer -peer still, so it's going to be matching players based on distance, which is it's going to be interesting. It means that people that are further away are going to have a little bit more latency, they're not going to have as much of an advantage, and the host is definitely going to have an advantage over everybody. There is still... No information on the actual release date itself. That is kind of up in the air at this point. I feel like they're focused more on doing all these smaller fixes and everything else, which does make sense. They want to try and get the quality of life stu 
stuff done and have everything be ready for those new players so they can make a good impression. And the 10 free suits that Western players voted on will be handed out to existing players as well. So if you don't already have some of the suits that were voted on, you're going to get them for free. In terms of the release date, like we've said, that's kind of up in the air. I can't guess when that is going to come out now. You imagine it would be sometime before the end of the year. It's a possibility that that could still happen, but... I'm, I'm not going to make any guesses at this point because it would be pretty much impossible to guess. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be next month. It's all up in the air still. The thing to take away from this as well is, like we've been speculating the past month or so, the Western storefront is going to be the only major change to the game by the look of it. Now, what do we mean by this? Because we've said this a bunch of times. The Western storefront basically is the localized version of your PlayStation store that connects to the game's in-game store to buy currency. So, instead, in the current version... I think by default, because you ha you might have like a Japanese account if you're playing it at the moment, then it automatically takes you to the Japanese PlayStation Store and asks you to buy stuff with uh, yen, I think it is. So what's going to happen is on the American version instead, or the Western version, it's going to take you to your storefront, so you're going to be able to buy coins in-game with your own currency rather than using yen that's if you're into that kind of thing if not then it's totally fine you can stick with the version that we have at the moment and you will still be fine so as far as transitioning to another version of the game it's not really worth it unless you're all about those microtransactions and you actually want to pay for suits if you don't then you can still play the japanese version now it will still be the exact same game working the exact same way with the exact same people the only difference is the storefront so thank you very much everybody you can see this update it is on reddit under the uh, september dev update that was posted by lee likes shadman <laughs> and it's also uh, on the Battle Operations 2 game website, which I'm going to link in the description below. So, thank you very much, everybody. I will see you on the next video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!